Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review of Batman, The Night, number four. Uh, this is a book written by Chip Zdarsky with art by Carmine DiGen Domenico. Um, the continuation of this really cool 10-part story of Bruce Wayne in his younger days. Uh, in this specific issue, Bruce Wayne's journey to become Batman continues in the cold mountains of North Korea, where he seeks to learn the legendary fighting style of Master Kirigi, um, this will be the most difficult challenge yet, and he might not survive without the help of his mysterious new friend. So, uh, if you haven't been reading this book, uh, first of all, I recommend you go check out the first three issues. We also have reviews for the first three issues on the channel. Uh, I'm very excited because Chip Zdarsky is going to be taking over the, the main Batman book uh, in after issue 125. Uh, I've also been loving what Sadarsky has been doing with Derek Devil and Devil's Reign over at Marvel. Uh, so very excited for that. Uh, and this story has a little bit of feel for that. Like there's, you know, there's ninjas and and, and stuff like that. There's this secret training ground in uh, a very interesting location. Um, uh, Master Kirigi is not somebody I'm familiar with, but I do know that uh, uh, Sadarsky introduced Henry Ducard, uh, who's always been a big part of Bruce's training in prior to becoming the Batman. So he's the one that has sent him here. Uh, Bruce is not welcome right away though, uh, as you can see here. Uh, and I'll show some of the art and talk about uh, uh, Jean Domenico's art, but overall, like Jean Domenico is just such a fantastic artist. I can't wait to see what else he could do on this book. Um, so we have here Bruce arriving at this temple uh, and multiple times here we'll see like they just kind of kick the shit out of him over and over again, like denying denying him the entrance to the temple. Uh, but of course, Bruce is not one to give up, uh, especially when he knows this is going to be the way for him to reach his goal of, uh, you know, bringing justice back to Gotham. And I think at this point, I don't know if Bruce really knows what he's what his full aim is here for, like what his full goal is. But he knows that this is a way, and he's not going to quit on that. Uh, so there's a lot of fighting in this issue, a lot of really cool martial arts, uh, and then just an introduction to this new character. Um, now this next page, we do how did want to highlight this. Uh, this is how much Bruce has gotten just like really, really kicked around so much, but finally gains entrance to this temple, and that's kind of where the story really kicks off. So this preview is just really the main few pages, uh, the main four pages uh, of the beginning of the book. But once we're in the temple, things really kick into gear. We get introduced to this different character. So I think Sadarsky is really good at pacing his story, especially in this 10-issue um, series. He has a little bit more time to decompress and really bring us some cool fighting scenes and some stuff where uh, on a monthly ongoing or on a mini series, we might have to cut some of that stuff out. Uh, and then when you have an artist like Jen Domenico, like you want to take advantage and just give us some of the coolest stuff like this. I mean, just look at that. Look how much you got the crap eat out of him. Uh, so very much enjoying this book. Uh, you guys know I'm a big Batman fan, but um, this is this is overall still without even without my bias. This is still just a really fun book. Uh, so. Uh, let us know what you thought about this book. If you read it, let us know what you think about the series so far. I'm going to show you some variants at the end. Uh, and you tell me that's not Christian Bale in, in one of those covers. But um, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Everyone remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Sundays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned because we have more trailer reactions, TV recaps, uh, comic reviews, movie reviews, all that stuff. Uh, on our upcoming live show, we will be talking about The Batman now that it's released on HBO Max for everyone to watch. And go check out our previous show where we talked about uh, bad comic book movies. It was fun, fun discussion. Uh, we had a lot of really fun people in the chat watching live. So that was a really good, good show. So, yeah, uh, as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye -bye.